And he body it's SK again with a little bit of force. Shining force. There we go. I couldn't remember the name of the damn game that I was playing and that I have been playing for quite some time. Are you Tristan? No, you're a busted ass fucking town, and I'm not going that way. Okay. Alright, RPGs. Got it. Where am I going? Is this where I go? I hope so. Wow, look at that. Is this like a laser eye thing? Those monsters are eating the bridge. Help! Help me! Help me! Yeah. Look! He's stranded on the bridge. Get away from the bridge before it falls into the river. I sprained my ankle. Please help me. I can't stand up. Great. That's cool. Back to back battles. Kalu Kalei. But I do love this particular battle music. Are you freaking. Really? Lizard Man. Are you Bebop or Rock Steady? That's fine, because I can just shoot you from afar, you bastard. I mean, granted, I'm only doing 8 damage, I don't really care. Oh yeah, he's got double range right now. Double range, two blocks of range. Oh hey, there's like all kinds of ranged units directly below me. That's good times. Okay, it's fun to listen to. It's fun to sing along to. Fun for the whole family. So I need to start giving you guys some like kills and quick. I am going to have to farm, at least for my uh especially Sarah. Because right now she's like five levels below everybody. I kinda of forgot that she was level one. Oof, whoopsie doodle. Actually she's like seven levels below everybody right now. Which is unfortunate. Oh yeah, we're gonna be getting all of them tasty goodness. Twelve and thirteen. Fifteen and thirteen. Twelve and twelve. Eleven and twelve. Score. I see you down there. So wait, is this like a... I was gonna say this is a Plants vs. Zombies reference, but that wouldn't make any damn sense because Plant vs. Zombies was 20 years after this. I don't wanna use that. Okay, we're murdering the shit out of this demon. Yes, we are. He gets one experience for it, too. We're going to snipe the sniper with the javelin to the face, because that's always fun. Hmm. But as I was saying before, I'm going to have to start using Sarah more offensively. Or just farming up mobs so that way she can get last kills and kind of power level her back to place. Because otherwise she'll never catch up. She's a healer, so she's, there's no way. It just, it just ain't gonna fucking happen. Like, end of friggin' story. And yes, I'm boosting specifically for Sarah. The other two I couldn't care less about, specifically speaking, but Sarah needs that extra... Um, boost, basically. 
That's so weird that that has that animation glitch. I love it. How until how far until he's level four? Eighty one. Like. Mm -hmm. Guys. Guys, you don't understand. I'm gonna bring Peter down here to bait them up. So Sarah, you are gonna take a turn at some point, right? That that is gonna be a thing that's gonna happen. Maybe. You better take a turn and you better be able to walk over there, because if not, I'm gonna be so mad. Yep. Ow. 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 Heck. Well, I guess that solved the problem of making sure that Sarah has ranch to actually get over there. If this does not work, I will be so mad. I was gonna say, it should do about seven damage. Oh my god, a Master Monk. I haven't seen one of those in ages. Just barely out of range. Okay. So let's pull you back just a smidgerino. now. And this is gonna be like healer happy times, so... They're so cute together. For once, I'm putting Jaha in the front line, and he's gonna goddamn stay there. I realize that they're not really gonna be coming up this way specifically. They're actually gonna be- well, I mean, they, they will be, but... Oh, my agility is so high that I'm actually taking two turns to their one. That's amazing. Okay, so heal Bowie. With all of the Healy Healies. Attack by one, defense by one, agility by one. Uh. Okay. 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 This is a mistake. This is a very big mistake. What am I doing? I'm actually not 100% certain. Except I guess I'm using Peter to, to bait these guys out. Damn, they hit hard, though. Because Peter, I think, actually has some of the highest defense in, in my entire troop here. The only one that might be higher is Jaha, maybe. Oh, Peter. Sweet summer child. Alright, heal the shit out of this man, please. Phoenix. Whatever it is. Cause he was gonna have a rough time. I really like that parallaxing background, though. That's pretty freaking sweet. I also may be condemning myself, but I really need to make sure that whoever I- that's so awesome. Um, that I'm giving pretty much all the last kills to Sarah. I kind of don't want to do that, but I kind of feel I have to in order to get her back on the par as quickly as I can. What are their defense values? 39. What are my attack values? 40, 16. So I'll actually kill the Wyvern. Which I don't want to do. I just want to kind of peck away at him a bit. Again, this is probably going to end up with me doing a lot more, uh, well, damage, to be truthful, than I want. I also need to get K's in a fucking level, so I'm gonna murder this man with Blaze 3. Excuse me? 
It was a blaze fucking three. I'm sorry. Could, could, I did not understand the question. Could you please clarify? Jaha rolling in solo like a boss. Well, bye, Slade. You actually survived. Oh, because he's fire based. Of course he did. Of course he's like resistant to fire. Son of a bitch! <sighs> Alright, wormy worm. Oh, they hit real hard. They hit hard. They're not fun. Well, I guess I'm healing Kazen then. And I mean, she's still getting more than the requisite 10 experience points, so... She's still a low enough experience where that can be, you know, a thing. Okay, now don't actually murder him. I mean, that's one way to ensure you don't murder him. Okay. Who has what? Uh, no, that's not what I wanted. Yeah, Slate, you you need some healing, hon. You need some healing for real, for reals. You need some straight up TLC, because you will die. I also realize that Slade's a higher level than everyone else. Mainly because he hits so damn hard. So we're gonna pull you back real quick. And we're gonna keep you back here. You know what? I don't even fucking care. Blaze through your ass. I don't give a shit. Just die. Yeah, buddy. He didn't even get a spell for that. Are you kidding me? I call shenanigans. This fight's gonna take a... Alright. This fight's gonna take a while. Because Sarah's basically going to be garnishing whatever heals like or whatever, uh... Damn. That one wyvern is just kind of chilling over there. Jesus Christ. And 51 defense. Like, Christ. That's crazy pants. You can see which ones are starting to pull ahead now. I mean, they've been pulling ahead for a while, to be sure. So I get the feeling that maybe I'm going to have to be doing a little bit grinding off screen. Just a little bit. Just a teeny bit. Yeah, tea time bit. Just a little bit of carrying. You know. Just enough to keep the blood flowing. Whatever the fuck that means. Okay, we're gonna roll out of this particular area. Because that wyvern's just, I guess, gonna chill in a corner there. All sullen like. I'm gonna pull you back just a smidge. Hold on, is she boosted? She is not. Alright. Uh, magic boost. Yes, please, and thank you! I don't care if the other ones are boosted, I just care if Sarah is. Because she needs that time. and get plays four. I really, really wish I had an AoE spell. Really, really for realsies. But that's fine. I can just spend like 18 turns healing, <laughs> healing all of these guys here. And she will very slowly get the levels that I require.
And if anything, this is like the perfect, the perfect, perfect example of how, or this is like a textbook scenario on where I can, uh, I can effectively use a Mage Medin McDoodle because all of these people are really sort of like closely nested together, you know what I mean? So that means I can actually use Blaze 3 to some relative success. At least I'm starting to get the cadence correct. I may not necessarily be getting the note correct, but I'm getting the cadence correct. Ta-da! And I'm sure this is probably painful for some of you to see me basically blue balling, so to speak, and not moving any for not moving any forward, really, not moving forward any. But I really want to get Sarah some extra levels because she's, you know, she she's level one. I haven't used her because I used Biker Chick. I like it! Biker Chick! I found the name of this episode! I mean, I understand Sarah having the slowest, you know, movement speed now simply because she's literally like seven levels below everybody, so it's understandable. This music is freaking awesome. So, Sarah! And they're all kind of just standing there, kind of chilling and waiting, doing the thing. He's not exactly a frontline tank, but he is definitely frontline. Definitely. Most definitely in Soviet Russia. Something, something, you. I don't know, I didn't think that hard about the joke. So you're gonna sit back and chill. You won't sit back and chill. You're actually gonna hang back just a teeny tiny bit here. And hopefully what's your face can catch up. Pretty please. Sometime in the next 500 years would be nice. There we go. Woohoo! All that work for 10 experience points. Worth it. So we're gonna scooch him for it all a little bit. So I can beat back here and still hit the front row. Chester's gonna get attacked by the dude right next to us. I know this to be true in my heart. Which is why I'm rolling that dude right here, because I do not trust that shit at all. So many flying units. Oh, Chester's about to get tag teamed. Oh, okay. Okay, I was just wholeheartedly expecting that to end in heartbreak. <laughs> I should have put Sarah there. But that's fine. We got a decent formation going on right now. Four rows of three. Makes my OCD happy. Okay, Slade. There we go. Hits hard! Can't deny. I'm gonna pull him back. 
I'm gonna keep him where he is. Keen. I keep him where he is. The worms don't seem to have much defense, but hot damn, they hit hard. I'll keep you right here. Alright, so they're starting to make the moves just a little bit. A little itty bitty bit. That's suicide, so I'm just gonna leave you back here. And I'm just gonna be slowly inching you motherfuckers down a little bit. Don't put them... Don't put that person right there because she has no melee capability. So, uh, Chester Cheeto, my man. Please, just target the right- thank you. I just realized Chester has 62 HP. Jesus Christ. There we go. That better be worth some decent fucking 14 experience? For realsies? Go F yourself, game. Yep. Knew it. Cha. Yeehaw! You've fallen into my trap, Mr. Demon Man, sir. Cat wrecked, good sir. It makes me happy, okay? What do you want me to tell you? It makes me happy. Nerd. keep you in the back there. I'm really hesitant to put anything near these corners where, uh, anger majigs, the wyverns and shit like that can show up because they will hurt a lot. So I'm just gonna nip that in the bud right the hell now. Even if they hit hard. Manamana! Manamana! Aw, they do work so well together. He does a little bit- they kind of equal each other out. They're both equal to one lesser demon. How cute. Aw, he's trying to use a fire attack on a phoenix. How adorable and stupid. Alright, so... Onward! March! Let's scoochify. Let's scoochy scoochy. Or what I think was referred to once as the hoochie scoochy. That was an actual th oh Jesus Christ, that was an actual thing, right? Like that was a real song at some point, right? I'm not just having some sort of really weird me moment sort of thing. Nice. Oh, you son of a bitch. Of course the monk would- Oh, they're little demon fairies! Oh, that's a cute touch! I don't know why I'm necessarily using the word cute, but it's it's definitely a touch. Please, just let me move. It literally doesn't matter which way I'm going, just let me hit down, please. Ba-dum, ba-dum! Okay, so, even with two healers, it's getting to the point where I'm gonna start popping some healing seeds here. Uh, or medical herbs, at least, first, so I can get them out of my damn inventory. At this point, they're straight up just not even worth using. So, healer dies first, always. Get fucked, healer. I was really hoping that would be a bit more decisive than that, but that's fine. and here's your chance. You have two people actually standing next to each other. 
Murder this wyvern, please. I can just imagine this great battle going on of all these people fighting on this bridge and Peter's kind of off on his own just beating the living snot out of something. Can I de soul a worm? Fuck it. Blaze three. Go. That's a start. Murder the shit out of this worm, sir. For the good of the country, for the motherland and all that. I really probably should be focusing on the worm because he's literally right in front of Bowie and he hits goddamn hard. Like, real hard. Yep. Just don't double tap him. Just don't double- you son of a bitch. Oh, now the other worm shows up to play? Oh, Jesus. Shows up to play? I see how it works. Fuck it. Kill the worm. Attack by one, defense by three. Gaha's my tanking boy, man. So, we are murdering this monk, yes? Not quite. But oh, what a sweet sensation that would be. So we need to at least make sure that if nothing else, this man actually survives one more hit. Doesn't necessarily need to be topped off. Do I have... Detox. This is the dumbest fucking thing I've ever done. Straight up dumbest fucking thing I've ever done. Hey, you about to stay poisoned. Fuck that. Oops. Okay. Let's get one last heal going on, and then you're pretty much useless at this point. Unless I have you kill something at 1 HP, which would be hilarious. And I'm not above doing that. Son of a bitch. Little demon fairies, how adorable. Well, that's fine. I can, uh... Don't kill the tank! Tank is love, tank is life. Okay. So, turnabout's fair play, motherfucker. Could have been worse. Could have been better, but could have been worse. Fuck it, I'm killing the monk. Or the, the worm. Something's gotta die. And that dude just wasted all of his MP already, so I shouldn't be that worried. Can I be soul you? Guess we'll find out. God fucking damn it, what the fuck is the point of de-soul if it doesn't actually de-soul literally anything? Ah! That could be so much better. Um. So we're in a bit of a we're in a bit of a pickle right here, a bit of a humdinger, if you will, because now my caster is in my number one position. It won't be for long because I love you, Peter. You're amazing. You're goddamn amazing. But luckily enough for me, I have all of these ranged units, so this is not as bad as it could be. Attack by one, agility by one. Alright. Only problem is now Jaha is completely useless. Uh, I know he has no magic spell. Um, give that to Geralt because it's, it's something. Besides, it gives me one experience point, so... That alone is worth the god damn it, Elric. How? You got two turns before he got one! What the fuck is that bullshit? Unless he got a turn and I just completely forgot that there was a dude standing right in front of him. But that's fine. Something like this, there's bound to be a casualty somewhere. So I'm guessing counterattacks don't do as much damage as they could, theoretically? Okay. Murder the soldier. Defense by two. Okay, could be worse.
I kind of want Kazen to kill the wizard. Is that bad? Is that a horrible thing? Like, he has 40 defense. He has 38 attack. He's going to only do one damage. So, actually, yes, that is that is the stupidest thing of all time. So, I should have used a heal three on him. Because that dude, he was at full HP when that dude hit him. So. You really gonna use Fire Spell on a Phoenix? You're so cute! <laughs> Fuck you! What?! There, you're just gonna stand back there and be pretty. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. This could actually be worse. But see, Kazen, this is what happens when you have a bunch of people standing in a row. God damn, that, that hurt a lot more than I, I would like to admit. Close quarters, man. Close quarters combat. Okay. Wizard must die. Like, now. Kill the wyvern. We gotta kill something, basically. Something's gotta fucking die. Kill the wyvern. Thank you. I'm hurting. I had two goddamn. I, I have two healers. And because of that, I went and go healing stuff. I went and just get big, big, bitch, 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 Purple monkey dishwasher. But unfortunately, this is because Sarah's so far behind in, in potency, so to speak. Get fucked. You got killed by a blaze one, bitch. Pfft, oh boy, model increased to level two. Oh. I just had to kill the wit. Okay. Alright. Well, good job, Kazen. Uh, that was actually close. Thank you very much. Excuse me, will you help me up? No, I'll do it. I'll take you with us. Kristen is the nearest town. I think you'd better rest there. Alright, that was weird that he just shoved him out of the way. Is there something... Sure are being nice. Anyway, Tristan is just over there, so let's go! Bowie. Peter. What, don't you want to go to Tristan? Oh, I do, but... You shouldn't go to Tristan right now. Oh, this chick is like a siren or some shit. This is total bad news bears. Why not? Because of me! I knew it. Knew it. Fucking knew it. Are you a devil? I'm one of the leaders of the devil army. My name is Camila. What do you want? Oh, I came here to get you a jewel of evil! Xeon told us to bring it to the agent tower. He didn't mention you. Uh, what? What? And since we've never heard of you, we're not getting- you're not getting the jewel. No! His orders were- Xeon finds out. You will be- He'll forgive me when I bring him the jewel. Enough talking, hand over that jewel. In return, I'll spare Sir Astral. You want me to kill this old man? The jewel can't be removed from Bowie's neck. You really think you can kill me? Of course! Ah. Oops. Well done. You dodged my fireball. What a surprising old wizard. I didn't think I could attain the jewel that easily. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Keep it for a while. Oh, that's why he's like shoved him and was like, no, I'll do it for you. Because he was trying, because he... I think he kind of sensed something was weird, so he was trying to make because if she got by Bowie, 
then she would have tried to kill him. Okay, I get it. Be careful of Geshevin Zelbard! Ah, oh, she's gone. Okay, Bowie, let's go to Tristan. Would you please explain what just happened? I love Peter, man. He is like the one sensible person in this entire story where all of this stuff is like, hey, let's just catapult the kid into a vortex and see what happens. He's just like, um, he's like the nerd in the corner that's like shoving his glasses up his nose and like, excuse me, um, can you explain to me why that was a good idea? Because in, in volume two, uh, page 137, it, it said that you weren't supposed to like, are you fucking serious? What is wrong with you? You don't know? Everything here was set up by Camila. It was a trap to get the Jewel of Evil. So why the fuck did we fight in the first place? As if you knew what she was from the beginning. Yes, I did. Her evil aura was apparent. By the way, did you hear what she said? They are acting on their own, ignoring Zeon's orders. It will be dangerous. We must be careful. In other words, the devils aren't as, uh... They, they ain't as unified as you think they are. Great. Fucking interfaction warfare, that's just fantastic. Well, anyway, if you guys like what you saw, feel free to leave a like. If you want to see more, feel free to subscribe. And as always, I will see you guys next time. Peace out, fools!